Hey everybody, it's Chris from Stita, and today we're gonna to be installing the Alpha Rex Nova Series LED projector headlights, fitting your 2009 to 2014 F-150. We're gonna show you a quick product review and then a step-by-step -step installation on how to install these headlights on your F-150. Let's get it rolling. Let's face it, the 2014 F-150 has been around for nearly 10 years at this point. If you're looking for a way to update the front end of your F-150, this is the way to go. It features a super cool daytime running light that runs around the perimeter of the lens itself, as well as sequential LED turn signals. In addition to that, you have four separate projectors for the main headlight part of this housing. These headlights produce a much brighter output than stock, especially if you have the halogen headlights, and it's a 6,000 Kelvin color, meaning you'll have that lightish blue hue that everybody's going for with the LED headlights. The lenses are anti-fog and UV coated, so you can rest assured that these will stand the test of time, and they're SAE and and DOT compliant. If you're looking for a way to completely transform the front end of your F-150, this really is the way to go. Alpharex absolutely knocked it out of the park with these headlights. We're really excited to get these installed in the silver truck. Installation itself really isn't too bad. You'll see a step-by-step -step on how to do it. There is some cutting and splicing required for the daytime running lights since these F-150s did not have daytime running lights from the factory. So watch along as we show you a step-by-step -step on how to install these headlights on your 2009 to 14 F-150. Here are the tools required for installation. Go ahead and pop the hood and disconnect the negative battery terminal. And use the panel removal tool to remove the push pins for the fan shroud on either side. Now you're ready to disconnect the headlights. There's two bolts on the top. and one bolt on the side. There's a series of tabs where the side of the headlight meets the fender. Just get your fingers back in there and pull out evenly across the whole headlight. You can go ahead and pull out the factory light, parking light, and turn signal. Now you're ready to grab your new Alpha Rex headlight. For the turn signal, you can pull out the factory bulb and plug directly into that connector. For the running light, you can also pull out the factory bulb and plug right in using the black wire. Stuff the black wire in and secure the connector to the headlight. Disconnect the factory headlight and plug directly into the harness. Now using the included wire tap, you want to tap in to fuse F76 with the gray wire. Just pull out the fuse, run the wire down into where the contacts are and put the fuse back in. If you don't have a secure fit, just pull it out and try again. Next, you want to grab the red wire and tap into the positive side of the connector on the battery. Tighten everything down. And then you take the black wire and connect up to a ground along the side of the engine bay. Hold it in place and tighten it down. And remember to connect up your daytime running light line. That's the red line that you connected into the fuse box. Adding some electrical tape never hurts. At this point, before you secure everything in place, have a buddy hold the headlight, turn everything on, and make sure all of the functions of the new headlights work correctly. Pull the plastic sheathing back and slide the new headlight into place. Resecure the top two bolts and the side bolt. Pull the plastic sheathing off. Put the push pins back into place. Now is a great time to align the headlight while you have one factory headlight in and one Alpha Rex headlight in. You can go ahead and use a Phillips head screwdriver to align your new Alpha Rex headlight alongside the factory halogen alignment and then repeat the process on the other side. Grab yourself some zip ties and secure all the wiring into the existing wiring harness.
and your installation's complete. All in all, installation really isn't that bad on these F-150s, especially the 09 to 14 F-150s, because in the newer trucks, you actually have to pull trim pieces off the bumper and things like that in order to install the headlights. So you really can't go wrong. The hardest part about the installation is tapping into that fuse and ensuring that the daytime running lights are working as intended. And the reason for that is because these F-150s don't come with daytime running lights from the factory, so you have to tap into that fuse to get everything rolling. But once you're past that part, get all the wiring cleaned up, installation is an absolute breeze, and it totally updates the overall look of the 14 F-150. And frankly, I love that the output of these LED headlights is way higher than the factory halogen. I know that when we were towing and things like that with the silver bullet, it was a nightmare towing at night with those factory halogens, especially when the truck was loaded up and the headlights were aiming up a bit. And now that these Alpha Rex headlights are installed on the F-150, I know we can tow with confidence at night and during the day and look good at all times. If you wanna see any other F-150 videos, go ahead and comment below, let us know. Additionally, if you want any truck parts, F-150, Maverick, Ranger, you name it, hit us up at Steeda.com. Hit that like and subscribe button, the notification bell, and don't forget the most important thing, speed matters.